Hi there birdies, welcome back to the City Virgo. So today we have something really special because we're doing some random questions reading. So I have my little box of questions here. Some of you may already know it from the live. I have over a hundred questions over here. We're gonna pull one little paper with the message you most need to hear and or the question that you most need to get an answer to, I guess. And we're gonna answer it and we're gonna see what shows up. We have a bunch of different topics over there. Um, so definitely check out each of your individual placements because there are going to be different questions There are going to be different messages for you for your life. Okay, so I'm really excited for this if you're ready Let's get into it Alrighty cancer welcome in your little paper is your next significant relationship awesome So this is gonna be a juicy one uh, we are going to look at all the possible details about who is coming forward, okay? Uh, we're gonna take a little peek into how the relationship will be and everything, but let's get started with who this person is. So we have a few traits here. I'm also getting, for some of you, this doesn't necessarily have to be love. Um, I, I do feel like for like 99% of you, it is love, but it could also be like your next significant relationship in career. Okay. So business partner, I'm also picking up on strong children energy. So maybe you're, um, wanting to get pregnant and there you go. <laughs> this is going to be your baby. Uh, but let's see here. Who is this person who is coming forward for cancers? What is their, who? Is going to be in their next significant relationship who is this person what can you tell us about them so we have cold and for some reason i actually feel like this person is not cold in terms of personality i do feel like they are always cold so they could be like uh constantly freezing constantly asking for your for your jacket or for like a blanket or you know they could also be the type of person <laughs> i'm picking up on like um when you sleep together not in a sexual way just like sleeping um, they could be the type of person to steal your blanket and to steal like everything in the bed. Um, so just be conscious of this. <laughs> they, they may, they may steal your, your, uh, blankets and everything, but, oh, look at that. We have cancer. So your next person could be another cancer. Um, they could also have a C in their name that is coming forward really strongly. Um, but we also have emotional with cancer here. I am getting that they don't have to be cancer, but I do feel like they are very, uh, like, motherly fatherly you know especially motherly if you are a man watching this but um i do feel like they are um they could also have a very positive significant relationship with their mother uh and again if you were trying to get pregnant this could be that you know the mother um could be a, a significant influence for um for your children for your child um so yeah but i do feel like this person is very caring very sweet very compassionate and that's why i was feeling that this person is not cold at all in the beginning um, they could have like their walls pretty high, uh, you know, just like the crap they have, like all of that, that strong exterior and the, the pinches and everything, but they're really sweet and really gentle. And I, I think, <laughs> but, um, I really feel like they sometimes put a wall up and I do feel like they have been hurt hugely. Um, and that is one of the reasons why they have those walls up. But like, if you get to know this person, they're really sweet, really, really gentle. And I don't think that they're going to be like mean or anything when you first get to know each other, but um they could just be the type of person that it's very mysterious and very like detached so it's like i'm a nice person i'm gonna be nice i'm gonna be you know uh polite and everything but i'm not going to tell you oh you know i had these many um relationships and this is what my childhood was like you know they could take a little bit to get into that point of like sharing their personal life with you and, and just being open with you about those things so they they just need a little bit of time that is what i'm picking up on but they are very um, compassionate. They could be an empath even. And I also feel like they sometimes may overthink and may not necessarily overfeel or overreact. But I feel like sometimes they, their emotions may be very high, very heightened. Um, and so sometimes things can explode a little bit, you know. Um, but that is actually great when it comes to the sexual aspect of things because we do have kinky. Uh, and I do feel like sometimes they do have, they could also be very loud in the bedroom, by the way. But I do feel like they have very, um, like it's whenever they are with you in a sexual way, they're with you, you know, they, they, they want to feel your pleasure. They want to see you, um, orgasm and everything, you know, they want to be there with you. They are someone that is very like, um, I feel like sex with them. is very, very intense emotionally, passionately, uh, spiritually, mentally. It's like, woof, 
you're gonna need a breather after that um and I, I do feel like they like very like long long time it doesn't even have to be like like a bunch of hours uh having sex but it, it just like I feel like it's going it could be like five minutes but it's going to feel like it's been two hours I feel like there is it's that type of intensity you know um so yeah but we also have self-employed so yeah that speaks for itself I do feel like they're very ambitious uh and very like they are the ruler of their own life you know these definitely want to come out um and uh, yeah they could definitely have a mars and scorpio i wouldn't be surprised if that was the case but um they could also they could definitely have some um watery placement in their chart but i do feel like they are very ambitious and they do not give up until they achieve their goals they could actually be a little bit um of a workaholic i was going to say obsessed because that is a little bit of scorpio energy but they i feel like they are workaholic and not necessarily obsessed because I feel like they know when to back down and they know when to breathe and when to just let things flow naturally. But I do feel like they become very focused on their goals. And I would even say like whenever they are working, they could, it's almost like um, you want to call, you want to text. They may like, if they are working, they're not going to pay attention to you. <laughs> they're going to be like not paying attention to their phone, not listening to anything. Um, they're going to be like laser focus on their stuff. Um, so there's also that. We also have confident a little bit of leo coming through um definitely like a lot of passion here i feel like when you first get to know each other it's gonna get hot <laughs> so i really feel like you're gonna have the hots for each other straight away lots of physical attraction um this is someone i'm getting very like uh fit so um and i'm getting like very drawn to, especially if they are a man um very like strong chest area and like arms and everything um if if they are women um i do feel like there is like a big emphasis on the apps or something like that um if they are non-binary maybe a mix of both i don't know but there's definitely like abs especially like i'm getting strong abs for um my females and strong chest area especially chest more than arms chest uh i feel like they're gonna make incredible pillows but chest is coming in really strongly for the males uh we also have 40 to 45 I'm hearing 40 to 45 hours. So that could be like when you're meeting this person. Wow. But uh, this could definitely be an age. But I am hearing like 40 to 45 hours. That is interesting. That is very interesting. Because um, I'm really not sure what that may be about. Other than like when you meet each other or something like that. 40 to 45 hours. I don't know uh but let's see here it could also be like work weeks uh work weeks uh work hours on the week they may work 40 to 45 hours a week i don't know um take those how does they resonate but i am picking up on strong like hour symbolism on that 40 45 so let's see here what else we have who is this person what else can you tell us is there anything else you can say so yeah we have capricorn ambitious for sure that is definitely right uh we also have green eyes so this person may have green eyes they don't have to anything else you want to share with us about this person all right so we also have psychologist they don't have to be a psychologist but i do feel like they are very connected with their mind uh and that could also be like a field that they are really drawn to that they really really love you know um look at that oh my god physical attraction yeah um but we also have short hair so that could definitely be something i also feel like they're gonna like to see you with short hair um but with psychologists here i do feel like they have a very strong connection with their um with their mind and i feel like they are very self-aware and i also feel like they're i was hearing family so someone in their family could actually be a psychologist and that person is very like it's very important for them so again it could be like a mother that is a psychologist and it's going to be very important but let's see here let's take a little look into how the relationship will actually be so can you give us one for the start like how you'll meet or something like that um what can you say about that we have separation so i'm getting a couple of things here this could start through the internet um but i also feel like it could also be like 
don't know, but that's actually pretty close. Um, I was going to say that it could be like in terms of distance, but I mean, 40 kilometers, it's actually pretty close. Um, but I also feel like this could be uh, like how you first meet. It could be that you're at a distance physically, so internet. It could also be that you meet on like a vacation or something like that. Um, let's see here. What can you tell us more about how the relationship will flow? The future of the relationship. What can you tell us about how it will be? This one has come out. Oh, we have true love. Oh my goodness, this is lovely. We have true love and romantic feelings. We also have let your friends help you. I do feel like you're going to get along like pretty well with each other's friends. Um, I even feel like it's going to be like, um, you're going to be so close with each other's friends that it's going to become like their social circle is your social circle and your social circle is, their, is theirs. And uh, I do feel like you could have like a lot of, of parties together. I'm not even getting like parties like party uh it could be like you go out a lot to have dinner together to just um go for a walk in the park or you could go to the beach a lot or something like that um i feel like you're really going to bond and it's going to be beautiful uh i do feel like like all of the people that you meet through this person they are part of your soul tribe um so that is going to be lovely i also feel like uh oh, that is beautiful i'm hearing like their mother um could be someone that is going to feel like a second mother. You know, you're gonna have a beautiful relationship with their mother um, and it's really going to feel like family. So you're going to be very welcomed. I love this. Uh, we also have true love, romantic feelings. So this is definitely, I mean, I feel like this speaks for itself, right? I feel like for the whole relationship, for the whole duration of the relationship, you're gonna have this incredible bond. I feel like you could be a little bit PDA <laughs> to be honest, because like these dudes are like, I don't care where we are, just kiss me um and again there is that thing of like the physical attraction i feel like sometimes even when you're like with friends at a party or something you're gonna have to sneak out a little bit because you're, you're not gonna be able to resist each other you, there could even be like a little like uh below the table action you know just a little teasing and i feel like one of you is just going to get i feel like you're actually it's going to be quite mutual um, so sometimes I feel like it's you that teases them, sometimes it's them that tease you, um, and I feel like it just gets to this point where it's like, okay, screw it, I can take it no longer, let's just, let's just go, let's just, ah, I need, I need you, um, and I just saw 1144, so I really feel like you are manifesting this, and it's going to be really stable, it's going to be really beautiful, look out for that synchronicity as well, but yeah, so what else can you tell us about Cancer's next significant relationship? Can we get, okay, hang in there, didn't ask a question. Uh, can we get a little information about how they'll meet or the beginning of the relationship? Ooh, okay. So we do have the Ten of Wands and the Knight of Moons. I actually feel like you could meet. Um, either you or this person could be going through a bit of a rough time. Um, whether that is in relationships or uh, with work as well. Because Ten of Wands for me, it's always the workaholic and burning themselves out so they could be and that would actually make sense with the vacation thing and the knight of cups is like you go out of this point towards a more loving and going with the flow kind of energy so um i do feel like in terms of of energy i do feel like you're both going to be in this place of or one of you at least is going to be in this place of like either being really overworked and stressed out and burdened um or there could be going through a tough time with their relationships whether that is family friends or uh they are releasing someone but i definitely feel like there is going to be this immediate bond between the two of you and we even have here the full moon card so we do have a full moon eclipse coming through uh i want to say 12th but i don't think it's 12th of november it is on the 8th of november so the 8th of november could be significant or around that time um and I do feel like there is also going to be this thing, like with a full moon, it's bright, it's shining, right? So I do feel like you're going to be seeing each other, like not only physically, of course, but um, it, it's like there's going to be this immediate connection, chemistry. You're really going to like see each other and understand each other. I feel like you could have very deep conversations from the get-go. Um, and I really feel like you're going to bond. Your childhood could also be very similar. Um, and when I say deep conversations, I don't think it's like, Again, sharing personal life, because I feel like this person could have a little trouble with it. They could ask you a lot of personal questions, but when the tables turn, they could kind of avoid the subject a little bit. It would be very um, superficial, you know? 
but I do feel like you, for example, that thing of the psychology, um, if you're into that as well, you could be talking about spirituality, you could be talking about psychology, about uh, environment. Um, if you're also into fitness, that could be actually like something you have in common. And so um, you may start talking a lot about that, you know, um, and health habits and everything. I feel like you're going to get into very interesting conversations, not just superficial and small talk. You know, I feel like you're going to get right into it. Uh, and then as time passes by, I do feel like you start like diving a little deeper and fully letting yourselves be seen by each other. Um, cause especially if this is also, you know, if you're both cancers, you could all also have this thing of like, let me pull my walls up and not share too much. Um, so there's that. What else can you tell us about the relationship itself? What can you tell us about Cancer's next significant relationship? Oh, we have the, the Nine of Moons, which is the Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment. This person is really going to be like everything you've always wanted. And I feel like at first, it's I feel like it's going to freak you out a little bit because I don't think you're going to know how to deal with that. Um, Ten of Swords, yeah. I, I also feel like there's this thing of like just waiting to see when the shoe drops. You know, just waiting to see when things go badly, when things go wrong. And I feel like you're both going to be looking out a little bit for that because you're both, I feel like you're both, especially this person, very protective of yourselves. Um, and so there is this feeling of like, I don't want to get hurt. So I do feel like at first, there's definitely that thing of like, uh, putting the walls up and everything, but this is wish from a nine of cups. So go into this with an open heart, please, because this was like lovely. This is chef's kiss. Um, and I do feel like this is also going to be like an ending of a cycle for both. You both could have been through very toxic relationships. Um, maybe even I'm hearing for some of you, you could have been um, either you or this person, maybe both. Um, in this place of like a little bit of lack of self-confidence or like your relationships around you could be bringing you down quite a lot. I don't think that they really align with you or with this person uh, anymore. And I feel like that is what's causing the heaviness, you know, and just it feels like it's dragged, you know. So if there is any relationship that you feel like that is the energy, then that this is definitely your sign that that person, I don't think it's aligned with you anymore. Okay. And again, with the Ten of Swords, Ten of Wands, there's definitely this thing of like, you both could still be healing. Uh, you both could be going through some sort of personal issue here um, when you see each other, but then when you meet each other, but then Six of Wands. And it's interesting that it did say, see each other. It's almost like you you were thinking, oh, I'm never going to fall in love. I don't care about love. Like, screw that. And then you see each other. It's like, oh my God, I love love. When are we going to have babies? <laughs> you know, it's like, I feel like you're just led all of those fears and anxieties away the second you see each other and there's just going to be this recognition i don't even i'm not necessarily going to call it like love for side but i do feel like there is this energy of um recognition at first side recognition that this may be a soulmate that this in not all soulmates are love related right um it's like this recognition that this person is going to be part of my life i don't know in what way shape or form but they are going to be part of my life i feel like there is going to be that immediate thought and feeling um, but at the same time, I feel like in the beginning, especially, there's going to be a little bit of fear attached to that. Um, but then you're just gonna let it go and just be joyful together with the six of ones. This dude is like just vibing. It's like, oh, we finally overcome the mountain. Um, and I feel like here, it's that thing when you're first meeting each other, it feels like it's so far away, right? But it's actually not. And I feel like you're going to be able to look back and be like, you know what? It, it all makes sense for this person. So... Be open to them because they are here. It's going to be lovely. So what else can you tell us? I also feel like you're going to be very wealthy together, um, very prosperous. And yeah, of course, you're going to be super passionate towards one another. We even have whoosh. Yeah, we have the devil here, which is not a bad devil. It's a great devil when it comes to sexual energy because that is what this whole thing is talking about. Queen of Wands, um, Ace of Wands. There's definitely like this reigniting of your inner flame. You know, I feel like um for some of you you could even be like um waiting to be in a relationship to to be intimate with someone again uh where this person is and i feel like it's not that that is going to be like all just blown out and moved away but i feel like you're not going to force it so much especially because of all the physical attraction that is going to be here you're going to be like all over each other um i wouldn't even be surprised like um <laughs> i would even say like 40 hours maybe it's the time that you take uh, resisting each other and then it's just like okay screw it we're just gonna go um especially if you know if you do meet each other on a vacation or something like that it's like you, you spend all of that time together where you have a lot of 
um, interactions with one another. And so it's like 40 hours and then, oh boy, we just have to do it. Uh, I feel like it's really going to be intense. And we also have new moon. Um, so the day that I'm recording this, there is a new moon in Scorpio, which is actually an eclipse. And I do feel like there's like this energy, it's really allowing you to release anything that is not helping you. And and hence, you're actually manifesting this person. So um, I feel like, you know, the fears are still a little bit there. But if you were holding on to someone, if this person was holding on to someone, I don't think that they're going to be there anymore. Uh, I don't think that they're going to hold on to, to anyone anymore. Uh, and it's really going to allow this energy to, to come forth. Okay. But again, we did get a uh, full moon. So, and it's interesting that we did say uh, 40 hours, like you could meet them in 40 hours. So it could be like this new moon in energy. It's very, very big, very impactful. So it could be that um, you do meet them near this new moon that just happened. Um, but it could also be like the new moon after that full moon. So I do feel like it's like in terms of timing, it's super freaking quick. Okay, so let's just try and get some more information when it comes to the sexual interactions between the two of you whoosh yeah definitely some scorpio vibes we have jealousy and possessiveness number 23 uh we have the warrior of love number 10 and the sweetest taboo oh my goodness we even have a deal romance two fours didn't i say 11 uh 11 um so with this ideal romance and the sweetest taboo i do feel like has the relationship moves forward it's like you're really allowing yourselves to get to know each other and to fall in love with each other and so the sex is just going to be very lovey-dovey sometimes yes very um because like even with the sweetest taboo it's like there is this level of um i don't know like exploring kinks and exploring different things maybe even a little bit of bdms um public places and all that um but there is a lot of exploring but it's going to be from this place of love and i feel like first at first it could come from this place of attraction i do feel like there, like there is interest there of course maybe not love but um i feel like at first your first sexual encounter i do feel like it's going to be like passionate as hell i feel like it's really going to come from this place of like wow it's lots of flames it's lots of flames here it's really going to be intense um and it's definitely i feel like it's definitely going to come from this place of um passionate more than feelings but it's soon i feel going to lead into this place of like very lovey dovey and very beautiful um i also feel like there could be something like i feel like you were really controlling yourselves really nicely like the first time you see each other and everything just being nice polite and everything but then like with that thing of like the 40 hours um there could even be something around like um this person sees you flirting with someone else or you see them flirting with someone else and just like gets triggered it's like ah, i need you you're gonna be mine you know and i feel like that just triggers it all um, and really get into this place of just pure raw passion um, and I do feel like one of you is going to be super sore after that first encounter because um, I feel like it's going to be like from all of your future sexual encounters with this person that is going to be the roughest um, of all and yeah I also feel like uh, there is something here around like even like this is the first energy but even like as you get into a relationship and as time goes by uh i feel like you both are very aware of each other's sexiness you know i feel like that is always going to be something that is going to be there and when you see someone flirting with each other it's gonna still trigger you know um you both could have like a mars in scorpio and that's why you bond so well um but i do feel like there's just going to be this thing of like Ah, so you flirt with each with that other person, you nasty. You're gonna pay. <laughs> you know, I feel like it's going to be very, but it's not in like um, a toxic way. I just feel like it's going to be really intense and very fun. I, this is very lighthearted energy. Um, even with this jealousy and possessiveness, at first, the first sexual encounter is gonna be crazy, um, and it's definitely going to be coming from this pure, raw, passionate place. I'm even getting a little bit of aggression, but it's not like aggression that is going to hurt you. It's like aggression towards like. I cannot hurt that other person that was flirting with you, but man, I'm going to use that passion and use that feeling somewhere else. And that is going to be sexual. Um, but it's, it's really going to be intense. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck. I think you're going to like it. Um, and then moving forward, it's just going to be lovely. So let's see here. Let's put some timing um, for when you might be might be meeting this person or any relevant timing when it comes to even like future timelines. 
um, when you move in together, when you get married, if that is in your plans, have babies, you know, whatever. Um, just anything important coming through. So we do have within a week. Look at that. It's so fast. I love this. Uh, we also have further in the future. I love this. And in the near future. Yeah, so I feel like, you know, meeting each other. Uh, I feel like the relationship itself, like the beginning, it's going to flow very fast. But it's not the type of relationship that is like, has fast had to see come comes forward the faster you will die no um because i feel like there is just going to be like this release especially in the first sexual encounter and then it's almost like um the stabilization of things and the groundedness of things and so i do feel like things are gonna happen like you're manifesting this person within a week there's that new moon energy um and then i do feel like things from that point forward are going to move in a very slow way i feel like like children marriage if that is in your plans it's a little bit later on the line i'm here like years and years ahead um and i don't think you're even going to have like any type of uh surprise you know um i feel like it's going to be conscious when you do have babies if you choose to have babies it's going to be a choice it's going to be conscious um and i feel like you're going to be thrilled by it so um yeah yeah this is lovely oh i love this okay cancer <laughs> this is what i have for you i hope it resonated hope it helped um if you're excited definitely smash the like button for me if you like this type of content do so uh and don't forget to subscribe for more readings you can also check out my other channel for pick a cards the bird's nest terror have tons of 18 plus pick a cards you can try and figure out uh, i even have like sex with your future spouse to be honest it could lead that way um but definitely go check it out and you can also check out the link below for private readings uh i do have some off readings that are downloadable affordable immediate okay so um definitely go check it out and that's it so i love it very much i wish you the best and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye